Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Allegro. Thank you so much for coming back to watch yet another video. And if you are new here, please do take a moment to subscribe to the channel and join our growing YouTube family. I would love to have you here. On this channel, I cover book reviews. I talk about business. I give advice on business. I talk about inspirational topics. Um, just basically feel good stuff to make my followers, you, my subscribers, feel good. And basically just... um have some sort of light at the end of the tunnel where you feel like I need that extra push, some motivation. I hope that this channel does provide that. And that is my aim with this um, channel. So thank you for joining us and I hope you enjoy the content. I am back with yet another book review and I'm very excited to talk about this book. Very, very excited. Um, not only because of the author, but excited about the content of the book. It is simply amazing. Absolutely amazing. I've already read it twice. I read it once, finished the book, and then I go and revisit some of my favorite chapters. And to be honest, all the chapters are great, but there, there will be some that I lean more towards and you will do too. Um, you will lean towards some chapters than others. And um, yes, so without any further ado, today's book review is, yep, A Woman Makes a Plan. And this is by May Musk. Um, and if you're wondering, Musk, Musk, yep, this is Elon Musk's mother. Um, whew so much to talk about so much to say about this book i absolutely love this book and i always i know i always say absolutely love this book in all my book reviews but that's because i really really um just happen to find the most amazing authors that write so well in the books and everything that i grasp from the books is just life-changing it's really really great and not only that they're also entertaining um so i absolutely love this book um this book is advice for a lifetime of adventure beauty and success and coming from a woman who is in her what late 70s i believe i didn't google her age but i think she's in her late 70s she didn't mention somewhere in the book i'm just i just don't want to make a mistake but she is well above 70 going on her 80s i believe and um she has lived through so many phases of her own personal life um lived her life through her children's eyes and seeing them grow and now she's got grandchildren and so on and this woman is um this book is perfect for a woman that is seeking advice on either you are at a journey like you're a point in in your journey of life where you feel like you are stuck where you feel like perhaps you just got out of a relationship or a marriage and you don't feel like starting all over this book also talks about um family life how do we we as women balance you know if there's even such a thing as balancing but how do we juggle everything how do we keep it going when you know there's so much to do where we wear so many hats she talks about that in the book she references obviously her life and you know growing up and her aspirations and the things that she had wanted to do i mean she speaks about when she first got to america you know um and just life in a different country trying to explore different opportunities trying to look for better opportunities not only for herself but for her family and that again for me is just tying it back to not being afraid for a new beginning not being afraid to start all over especially when you were so comfortable in a certain space be it you were comfortable at a job comfortable in the previous relationship comfortable in a previous friendship even comfortable in a certain business that it's really if you're being honest with yourself it's time to let it go that business has a long died and you're just really grasping at straws but because we're so comfortable and we're we're just so scared of stepping into something new we tend to just stay there and waste our years staying in something that is not fruitful something that is not serving us and something that is just instead of helping us grow it's taking away from us it's it's aging us it's taking away from us it's leaving us demotivated in, in, instead of like sparking that light igniting you know that enthusiasm and energy and just zest for life you know um so she speaks about all of that in this book and um she speaks about the different opportunities that she never turned down, even when she didn't know what she was doing. Um, and I remember here she spoke about how her and her twin sister tried out a modeling gig. And, you know, it was only later on in her elderly years where she now is on like the cover of magazines and she's now on billboards and she's now an author after all those years. You know, she talks about being persistent and perseverance. She talks about how you as a woman can excel in the corporate space 
space in business and not have to strip yourself of your femininity you know um how you can just still be a strong woman a great leader but being the woman that you are meant to be naturally not trying to fit into someone else's love of what a woman is meant to be you know and also as the title suggests a woman makes a plan when you are faced with the odds when things are just bad when your back is against the wall where you feel like there is no solution there is no light at the end of the tunnel a woman makes a plan you know she encourages her female readers that you make a plan something always comes up you push through you be persistent persevering you know um you take charge of your own life you aim for your happiness you stop pointing fingers and blaming everybody around you and start looking in the mirror and saying this is my life and I am taking charge of my life and I'm making better decisions and I'm going to, you know, be the best version of myself no matter what. Um, it's such an inspirational book, such a motivating book. Um, she also speaks in chapter 13 about starting over. You know, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes we, we come to crossroads, we come to a dead end sometimes where we feel like, well, this is it, you know, where to from here? How about you start over? When something ends, don't be afraid to start over. Be it relocating, starting a new job, starting a new relationship. You know, don't be so stuck in the past that you forget or you 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 limit yourself and prohibit yourself from moving forward and starting over. You know, there is so much power in new beginnings. You know, um this year for me personally, it's my year, it's my year of new beginnings. Um so many things that I had to re start this year and i guess also that's why i haven't really been as active on youtube because there's so many things that i have been um working on behind the scenes and and starting again so many things that i have i'm starting afresh that i've never done before it's a new beginning altogether um in every aspect of my life there's something new that i'm in a season of just new beginnings i'm excited it's exciting i'm i'm learning and relearning certain things and relearning myself as i grow and i go through this journey so it's it's exciting and um i encourage you to get this book if you are a woman out there like i said even if you feel like your life is put together you got it all together you're fine um we all need that extra motivation we all need that little you know just a little push even if it's for entertainment trust me you are going to love this book i finished this in less than seven days less than a week i think i read it for like four or five days um and it was amazing i loved it um she speaks about women in education you know um women in the corporate space moving ahead starting over could be the best thing you do for yourself again just speaking on that power of new beginnings and starting again um pushing your boundaries and pushing yourself stepping out of your comfort zone you know out of character sometimes life throws us in a place where we feel like okay I'm out of character. This is not where I thought I would be. How do I go about? How do I maneuver in that space? You know, do I adjust or I do I go back? You know, go back into my little shell and go back into hiding? Or do I embrace that, you know, new environment that I've been thrown into that I find myself in? And I, do I adapt and move forward? You know, so there's a lot, guys. There is there is so much. I am not going to go through each and every chapter and what it talks about, but it is an amazing book. Again, advice for a lifetime of adventure, beauty, and success. And that is A Woman Makes a Plan by May Mask. Absolutely love this book. If I were to rate this one 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, totally up there in the tens it is amazing um i love it worth every cent and um i think this book retails for just under 300 i got it for 280 something um i got it off take a lot so have a look at take a lot they have great awesome deals and i know i mentioned take a lot um a lot on the website um a lot on my youtube rather <laughs> why am i saying website a lot on my youtube but um no they do not sponsor any of the videos that i talk about these books hopefully in future hey take a lot you will start sponsoring my um book reviews you know but head on to take a lot head on to bargain books exclusive books and so on um i know that it's definitely under 300 rand i got it for about two something um it's amazing i love it and um you can't go wrong with this book you absolutely cannot go wrong with this book like i'm looking at it now trying to see what is the one negative thing that i would say about it and there really is not um and I love here at the back of the book, she also mentions it um, in, in the book itself, uh, I think in the intro somewhere. Let me just see that. She says here, there's an Afrikaans saying, I grew up with 
a burmaka plan and i think as south africans we can all relate to that and for some of you that are watching this video you're probably you're not in south africa and you're wondering yes elon musk is from south africa the family the musk family are from south africa but uh, you know based in the us right now but elon musk did grow up in south africa mother same as well they are afrikaans um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this book review i know i was a bit all over the place i'm excited about it i will definitely keep this in my collection read it every now and then refer to a chapter it's great and i'll pass it on pass it on to a friend my sisters encourage other people to get it i loved it and i know that you are going to love it too and if you do have the book if you have read it let me know your thoughts down in the comment section i would love to hear from you thank you once again for coming to my channel watching this video liking sharing and subscribing to the channel and if you have not yet done that please do take a moment to subscribe it's free and it helps my channel grow and when you like and share the content it reaches more people and the channel grows even more so thank you so much for doing so and um, do come back for yet another video next time bye for now